YouTubes. We had the nice people at Kai Wheats send out their new digital multimeter, the ST500Y. Let's open this up and check it out. Inside the box, we get a nice uh, case for the unit and a lot of literature here. We'll go ahead and move the box to the side. In here we get our user's manual, smart digital multimeter, the ST500Y. And there's also a, a contact email, support at kaiweets.com. And it's so thick because we have all the different languages, English, Dutch, French, Spanish, Italian, I'm not sure on that kanji if that's Chinese, Korean, or Japanese. And then there are some QR codes and there is uh, even one for YouTube. Let's go through this real quick. Turn it on, it's ready to use. Resistance, continuity, volts AC, volts DC. Manual measurement modes. Diode test. AC and DC current. Some specifications. Looks like it runs on four triple A's. It's CAT3, 600 volts. Max voltage between terminals and earth ground DC or AC 600. Fuse protected 10 amps at 250 volt fuse. Uh, work environment 0 to 40 Celsius, 80% relative humidity. Storage temperature minus 10 to 60 degrees Celsius, 70% relative humidity. Sample rate approximately three times a second, display 6,000 counts, accuracy plus or minus 0.5%. There's some resistance values. That'll do capacitors. We're going to test it on a bunch of this stuff. Some maintenance instructions. And then that's about it. Let's get into this unit. Go ahead and unzip it. And there it is, the first looks. This is the meter. We can go ahead and peel the tape off the face. Look at that. We're going to have to install the batteries. There's our power button, smart button. We'll go through these buttons here and all their functions. You have your common connector. This side is for amps. This side is for all the other functions. We do have a flashlight on here. So inside the kit, we do get a nice set of silicone leads. Take those out of there, because I'm not gonna keep the bag. So we do get a nice set of leads. Sharp. We do get a K-type thermocouple for temperature readings. And we do get our batteries. Okay, to get your batteries in, you're going to take off the outside rubber case, just like you would on any other multimeter that comes with a protective case. That is the case. This is the unit. 
and it will require a small Phillips head screwdriver. You'll see the function button will scroll through bolts, ohms, continuity, diode test, capacitance, hertz, temperature, amps, and non-contact. Let's go ahead and, and go backwards to the temperature and we'll plug in our temperature probe and see how that looks. Get a hold, the H button is for hold. Okay, you get your temperature probe in, you got it set on your temperature setting. You get Celsius on the bottom screen big and Fahrenheit on the top, so you get a dual display for both. That's kind of nice. And we'll go ahead and take the function over to continuity and we'll see how loud the buzzer is on this. Get a nice buzzer and a light. There it is. Have the function over to the ohm setting. We'll get a good bite here and we'll read zero ohms. And when it's open, you get open line. Very nice. All right, we'll go ahead and ohm out this 15 microfarad run capacitor here. There it is 14.89 microfarads. And you get a little analog graph up there too. And you get the digital readout, not bad. So let's take it back down here to our ohms function and see what we get across the coil of this contactor. One point three two two K ohms and this has given you the outside ambient the whole time you run the meter inside the room here or wherever you're working at and it does give it in Celsius I don't know how to switch that between Celsius and Fahrenheit I'll see if it's possible okay so the unit does have non-contact if you go over to here non-contact live on the unit and you'll get L for a low detection and an H for a high detection and for example We'll put it up here. You get a green light and it's flashing low. And then you get red for high. And we could try it on a wire too. I'll plug in the mixer here. And we'll just take it right here to the mixer wires. And that's the non-contact feature in the meter. We'll go ahead and put it to volts and we will go to volts, select AC and I'll get the probes in and we'll check the actual reading at the receptacle. Cool. You can see we got 120 volts AC, true RMS it's saying here. And you also get a graph out and it's also the top when you go to volts the top will give you the hertz so the top line is hertz the bottom line is volts when you're on the volt function and there's the flashlight if you look at it from the back side has a nice flashlight on it 
So it's about the size of a smartphone, a little bit thicker than a smartphone, but again, a neat little uh, meter here. You can get your ambient without the probes in, it'll give you the ambient of, the, of your room. Just by sitting here, you get ambient. So it's kind of nice to have just to get your ambient temperature without having to hook up any um, leads or a thermal couple. We'll go ahead and power that off. And that is the overview of the Kiwit ST500Y. So stay tuned to my videos and I will get some field usage of this out in the field. This will probably go right into Tippins for a little bit. And we'll use it on old Tippy, and we'll get it out there. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and help a brother out.